Hey guys, this is Samsung HWQ60 soundbar. This soundbar got seven speakers, 340 watts audio power. This soundbar is Dolby Atmos with wireless subwoofer. What I want to do is to show you how to connect this soundbar to your TV via optical cable. This soundbar you can connect it to your TV via Bluetooth, optical cable and HDMI. Optical cable and HDMI cable are not included in the packaging, so you need to buy the cable if you want to connect it via hardwired. This is optical cable I want to use to do this. So we're going to do this demonstration using LG TV. So before you do this connection, unplug the sandbar and also unplug the subwoofer. So this is LG TV we're going to use to do this connection. So first of all, what you need to do is you need to take the optical cable, go to the back of the sandbar where it's written digital audio optical, audio in optical. So take the cable, push it inside, plug it in. Now the next thing you need to do, you need to take this end of the cable, go to your back of your TV where it's written optical digital audio. Push the cable is inside it and this is in now the next thing to do is you need to plug in the tv to the power plug the sandbar to the power and also plug the subwoofer to the power Now, switch the sandbar on. The sandbar is on. Also, switch the TV on. Yeah, so the TV is on. Now, the next thing you need to do is so the next thing you need to do is you need to use the input to select DG in. You can see this is BT USB DG in. Now, I go to the TV. This is the TV audio. Go to the TV settings. Scroll down to the sound. And you can see it's showing us TV speaker. You need to select on the sound TV speaker, then scroll down to optical. Select optical device out, select on it. So this is the audio. It can be used in mental well being, reducing anxiety. It's connected. Or even things like phobias and exposure therapy. Instead of having to get on a real plane, you can get into a virtual plane in your doctor's office. Some clinicians have been prescribed. And when it's in the optic, you can see showing us optical art device. If you use the TV remote control to increase it, it won't it will not work. So you need to use the sandbar remote control to increase the volume. The most out of breath I've ever been without feeling like I was deliberately exercising was uh, using one of these headsets and playing a game where I had to chop up blocks. And so this is how to hook this up. And if you look at the back here as well, you will see that this is linked together. So, for example, in the US, there is a brain surgeon that would take a scan of a patient's brain and then bring them both into This is how to hook this up. And say, now, from the sandbar remote control, depending on program you are watching, that, that might be you can select and then they're actually using all this surround in brain surgery as well to be able to project the image onto game. And then afterwards, they'll be back into this the adaptive. Brain. So, with this remote control, you use this button here to switch this on and off. This button here is the input. You select it to select DG in or HDMI. This button here is Bluetooth. The center one is pause and play. Side is for you to go forward and this is for you to go backwards. Then this button here is the channel center. This button here is night enhancement, night enhancement. You select this night enhancement, then you go up and down to switch it on and off. And this is tone control. It's going to treble, then you select up. If you select it again, it goes to bars. You select up to increase it, button one to decrease it. Okay, this is mute and it's on. So this is how to hook this up to your TV via optical cable. Thank you very much indeed and stay blessed.